Good morning, modern steaders. <laughs> a brisk 52 degrees out this morning. Oh, it just keeps reminding me fall is right around the corner. Morning, guys. You didn't eat all your veggies we gave you last night? I see a pepper over there. Good morning, you two. Zeke. You weren't sleeping in this morning? firewood shed builds coming along nicely. Before we know it, it's going to be breeding time for the goats. Last year we bred willow in November, so we usually start breeding in October or November. We have to kind of sit down, figure out what kind of winter, spring it's going to be, and figure out when we want to have our baby goats being born. We don't want to have them being born too early, then it'll still be cold and yucky. But you don't want to have them being born too late. You want to make sure they're big enough and old enough before winter comes. That means this time next year we'll be milking more than one goat. <laughs> getting to be later in the season, so I'm not surprised her milk's going to be starting to drop off. Good. I'll let you out. Go see your babies. Is that some good hay there, Blossom? Willow's like, where's there an apple that I can get? Season of drums Show you how the West was won. We left New York City with our windows down. We couldn't see the tree. Nice. Good morning, Moose. You're a little slow this morning. I think the first thing we need to do today is get the staging out of the woodshed. I don't think we're gonna need that. I gotta figure out how we're gonna do it in front of the doors. I don't know if I wanna leave the gravel high like a ramp in the entranceway and then just taper it down by the siding or if I should bring it all down. I think drainage wise, we're gonna be have enough drainage to keep the water away from the siding if we keep it like this, but keep an eye on it and see. Sun is bright. The not so sexy part of construction. Moving everything. Came undone? Okay. Hey, that works. Nice. I remember we put the strap in for the roof over here. And we did. Hey Figaro.
Whoops. That give us, we're gonna want. Start getting some strapping up now. These are a couple of filler pieces. This is this way when we go to nail on our trim work, we have something nice and flush to nail to. Flush it up on our ends. Whew. Ready to get on some slatters and staging? And climb on the roof. Gonna want one, two, three short ones. I'm gonna put these right here. Alright, we're gonna want three long ones. So one, two, three. might want your gloves. Yeah, flush it on your end. What's that? You don't like when I get up there? Are you flush? Use the nail gun. How am I gonna nail and hold on? You don't need to hold on. You'll be okay. You'll get your sea legs. Okay, let go. Yeah. All right. Whenever you're ready. It didn't push down at all. All right. So while we're right here. Let's do this next one. Oh. If you want flush, I'll take the nail gun. Flush your end up. I can't reach them. I need to come my way. And then go back. And go forward. Keep going. Is that good? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna come over to your end. I don't like you walking on it. You don't like me walking on it? All right, let go. I like it right there. So this one we're gonna go in the center. So if you wanna hold your end flush. I need more in my way. Yep. A little bit your way. A little bit my way. Okay, Is that good? Mm -hmm. Alright, so from here we are 16, 30, so I wanna come down.
All right, bring your end down. Down, 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 down. Right there is good. We check this end. I like it. You still flush? Yeah. Okay. Like sea legs, like you need. What's that? I think it is sea legs. You do, you gotta get used to being because the boards wobble. Sweet, I'm not a monkey. It's the wiggle. This one on the bottom, butt it right up against. Hold that end, yeah. Let me mark to get this end on where it needs to be. All right, nail your end. Oop. Yep. Am I okay? Yep, you're good. You can just work your way down and nail it. Mine too. One, you want to hold this. Right there, good. Do you want the bottom to be the Yeah, make the bottom flush. There you go. want to cut a couple of pieces of spacers so when we're strapping the roof we keep the same spacing on the back side we want 20 inches between the strapping or to center I should say so that'll give us 20 so we'll start with a long piece Flush it to come all the way yet down and then flush it to the end. All right, so we'll keep that flush like that. So you go in, like push your board up towards the top of the roof. Okay, come down, uh, back up, right there. Let me fix that, but yeah, take the gun and then I'll make the adjustment. I don't like when you climb on stuff with me. Okay, nail it. Okay, nail that one.
Alright, let's try it this way. Thank you. Have you heard about summer snow? When it falls on you, your blood runs cold. But don't you sweat your pretty skin? Cause it melts away for its. <sighs> Ran out of nails. I'm gonna stick the ladder in the middle of the roof so we don't gotta. I don't gotta walk super far depending on what end I'm on. What's that? I was about to say, it feels really weird out. Sure it does. And you dream about this very night When the moon runs down the summer sky Could it be the morning of the spring When the sea runs dry and start to sing Have you heard from the sky All about it Down the river high tide So I'll take the skill saw and a hammer. Look at the muscle. Holy moly. Thank you. You ever feel like going back? You read until your legs gave way. And you cried and got back up I always forget how long strapping takes. I always think, oh, it's a two minute job in it. It's the, all the up and down and moving the ladders around and climbing up on the staging and setting everything up takes quite a bit of time. I had to put the collar ties up. So they're gonna, it's a board right here. They're gonna connect the two rafters. So I'm gonna get those up, and I don't think we're gonna have time for the siding today. Look, I can use it like a dry erase board. So you want to mount that in the milking I parlor? Clean it up, because I want to put a dry erase board in there anyway. Right. And then we don't want to use this for the stove, and it's a shame. I don't want to get rid of it. Yeah, you can write on it as a dry erase board. Yeah, we can use the like, cabinets above. You know, because we want to like feed hay. You know, Olivia could in it. In it. It comes right off. That's cool. So yeah. I could use this and then you could have this as cabinets. Yep. And then the top is a shelf. And then we could all, you guys could always make stickers or whatever is in here. You could have fancy stickers or labels right. or something. That'd look cool. Right. Let's see if we can clean up the rusty stuff first. Yeah. Uh, set the light up right here. Cover the color guys. Our level on them. The very end rafters don't get a collar tie because they don't need one because there's going to be a wall going there. Help secure the building this way more too. I like it. Something like that. I like it right there. Oh, just think, we're getting closer and closer to being able to stack firewood. 
Cross Homestead fit. And then I'll be like, okay, I'm over it. How long, how long is it going to take? I don't know. Usually I break it up because it's monotonous and boring. So I'll do it for a couple of hours. This year is going to take the longest because we got to put it on the trailer and bring it over here from where it's stacked. You know what I mean? And next year, we'll be able to get it dumped right in front of the doors, so we won't have to move it. We'll just have to stack it. We'll get that much again. We'll get probably five cords next year, and it'll just get dumped right here, and we'll just go. Ch -ch -ch. So that was another reason why I like this location, is it's over further enough where we can dump the biowood, and we can still use the driveway. Right, and then we close. Yep. Convenient. Before we'd have to put it in the wheelbarrow, or put it in the Kubota bucket, stack it in the bucket, and then bring it over to wherever we were going, and then restack it. So from now on, we'll only have to stack it once instead of twice, which will make it so much more convenient. They were gonna squish grasshopper on the top part of the goat door. <laughs> I saw that this morning. It must be if it opened and it slammed. Oh. Must have been there was a grasshopper on the door when it got slammed open. So you need to cook a little oil flap. Ah, I thought that was kind of funny. I was hoping to do some siding today. I was hoping to get it sided today too. It's you just wanted to use the nail gun. Yeah, but I don't want to... Yeah, I want to stay on the ground. We'll get to do it tomorrow. You're getting all the animals talkative. You're getting more friendly now, huh? Yeah. Okay. You can't get it up high over your head. No. You can't reach up there. No. You can't get right there. No. You can barely get up there. I know. I gotta stretch up my tippy toes. How do you think I'm supposed to get up there? What are you doing, Hope? Buttercup Blossom. Did you eat all the hay, Hope? Here comes more. Hey, Blossom, stop. Well, we eat hay, not me. They're like, yes, hey. Look, Hope's got her, Hope's got her head covered in hay. They like to do that. Silly goat. What's the matter, little pea? You can't get in the new hay feeder? Terrible. Okay. You got some hay on your head, Hope. Okay. You gonna go get some grain moose? Broody chickens, broody chickens. We got one. No, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, I only saw one in that one. You did? Yeah. It's so nice having an extra set of hands building the woodshed. I forget how much work it is just climbing up and down 
on the ladder to get a project done. It's always nice to have an extra set of hands helping out. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And I want you all to know that from the bottom of our heart, remember, it's the journey. It's not a race. Whew, there's so much to do. No matter what you're doing for trying to go after, whether it's homesteading or changing your career or making your own, make, have starting your own business, we always want to get there fast, but we don't want to burn ourselves out either, guys. So thanks for coming along, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.